Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new WWE Supercar video, episode number 11. I am currently live streaming on YouTube, guys, so if you are someone who was in the stream at this point, awesome. Don't spoil it in the comments, because I will ask for a guess in a little bit. Um, huge shout out to a couple people, I'll just read the chat off this post Malone Extreme, Brandon, Amin, Jason, Samir. I'll scroll up a little bit as well. Um, show thoughts. Brandon, Ash, Asti, Will, uh, Wilco, Will, yeah, Wilco Pace, we'll go with that, I'm guessing I pronounced that right, Nacho, um, and a bunch of other more, thank you to everyone who has joined the stream today. We've got a very, very awesome video right now, very interesting first part of it, because we are about to get our Titan freebie, yes, yes, indeed. We're looking for a female or a pro Titan, obviously, Dana Brooke, as you can see, is done, um, I'm actually worried I didn't use my uh, tokens on both, but no, now that I look, of course I have. Um, yeah, we're good, we're good. Let's go and pro Dana Brooke, second beast female pro, very nice indeed. Welcome Dana, and she's going to help massively um, with a lot of things actually. So, female and beast, and there she is. Lock her in and put the nice image on, which is this one. And there she is, guys. There she is. Awesome. Um, level, level her up now. Uh, train, Bailey, do, yes. Skip. And there we go. We are in Titan tier. Not even fully leveled up, but I already got the achievement. So I'm going to get some free credits on top of it. And there it is. Look at that little Titan next to my profile. So if we go onto here, onto achievements, scroll all the way down. Claim our... 250, 350, very nice. That's actually decent, isn't it? It is. I'll take, I'll take, I'll take those credits at least. That's where we are, by the way, in top eight. So, oh, I'm hearing a bit of an echo flame. No, we good, we good. Um, so that's where we are in the Titan bar. Very, very close into it, but we made it, and that's what matters. So, I can't play War for it. So I guess I'll play Road to Glory for it. Yeah. Play, let's play Road to Glory for it. I, th I think that's a good idea. Get a, get my freebie in Road to Glory. Um, Titan Hype. Okay, so this is where I'm going to ask all of you guys. Give me your predictions down below in the comments. Pause right now and let me know. We'll, we'll face this guy. If we lose, we lose. If we win, we win. Hopefully we win. <laughs> get, get, my, uh, get my six points. We're very close to Eddie as well. Um, obviously, I will record the final part of this video, which will, meet, which will meet, be me getting uh, the event card. So that will be very handy. Uh, Velveteen Dream, fully leveled up. Oh my god, if it's Alexa. If it's Alexa, TM. If it's Alexa. Let's go with that. Please win this. Uh, yes, yes, that will, because they're not compatible. We need we need, we need, need to win this game. Get some more picks, obviously. That's, that's the main goal here. Please, come on, win this. No, no. Get off your keyboard, D2. Okay. Gobbledygooker, I will use him for the tag. Do I sacrifice Seth? Because of, Yeah, I will, because I think it's going to be a high card. No, <laughs> could have used. Could, could have gotten the win there. We're losing 3-1. Come on, Dean, do the business. No, not good. 4-2, 4-1 actually. Yeah, 4-1. Um, this tag team has to win it if I want a chance. It does, good. Good, good. Cedric or Nakamura, D2 is going. So Charlotte, Kane, Jericho, I see. Um, nice. Nice. I hope I get something good. I really do. I'll go Kane. You'll go Kane as well. Nice. <laughs> Brock. Oh, Brock. Brock would be awesome. Yeah. I'll tweet that to Callum straight away. <laughs> Nikki or Bree. Again, a female. A female would be awesome. My uh, Stone Cold would be awesome as well. Yeah, Legends. If you get Edge or Stone Cold, I, be, I will be mad. Ambrose or Diva? Ambrose is a pro, and a Diva's a Diva, so I hope you're right, Nacho. I really do. Um, what if it's Adam Cole? <laughs> if it's Adam Cole, I'd be very happy. <laughs> Let it be Baron to annoy D2, lol. <laughs> no. Bailey, Finn, Ultimate Warrior. Again, I would take I would take a Bailey, Finn, Ultimate Warrior. It, it, it will be, what you know, it is what it is if it's one of them, but... uh. We actually won that game. Get in. Give me my six points. 
We're, we're so close. Oh, and look at that. Look at those card backs. Okay, here we go. Braun, thank you so much, Scammer and Dodd, for your sub. Thank you so much. Oh, God. Is, is it, oh, it's going to troll me, isn't it? It's actually going to troll me. I'm going to have to get into another game, aren't we? Oh, we are. We actually have to get into another game. God damn. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, that was close. Um, we, how many cards have we got left? Eight, nine. Nine cards left. And if we win it, we get six, six, uh, six picks. Oh, interesting. We might have to do yet another one. And if we lose, then that's not, that's not very good either. Okay. Here we go. Here we go again. Female equals Alexa or Charlotte. Male equals Reigns or Strowman. Um... Yeah, I, I suppose I'd take any of those. I'd love an Alexa if I got an Alexa. Holy crap. Um, let's do let's do that for our first tag, which might lose out. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. I'm extreme my Titan was Charlotte. Very nice. If I get a Charlotte, that might annoy you, actually, because it'd be a pro for you. So, <laughs> Eric Young or Bray? Um, Eric Young would be great. Eric Young would be very good. Obviously, as I said, any any pro would be great. And for people who don't know what I've got, I've got uh, Kevin Owens. I've got um, oh god, um, and okay, Kevin Owens, Randy Orton, Biggie, Dean Ambrose, uh, Gold Dust, uh, Adam Cole, um, Alistair Black, and that might be it. I'm sure there are some other ones. I said EY. I said Randy. Did I say Biggie? Pretty sure I said Biggie. Um, pretty sure that's about it. Yeah, Eddie Guerrero is a pro for me in the RTG, so I absolutely do not want an Eddie. That's literally the only Titan I do not want. Eddie Guerrero is the only one. So don't give me an Eddie. Come on, don't, don't, don't do what um, Monster Tear did to me because I'm not. I haven't said this in a video, but I did open another pack last night, guys, and uh, we got our fifth, our fifth Roddy Piper. So yeah. Um, what should we go with here? Uh, Shinsuke. Hey Blue, welcome to the stream. One of the Usos, okay, yeah, one of the Usos would be okay, I suppose. They're not too bad, but yeah, it's, oh, I don't really want someone from a tag team. Um, yeah, we're just really looking for a female or a pro here, to be honest. Female or a pro. Titan freebie, let's do it, come on. You joined, you joined at a good time, Blue. <laughs> You're gonna get Eddie, don't say that, don't say that. All right, round four. Are we gonna win it? Is that six to four? Come on, come on, Alexa. Yes, Alexa. All right, now now we definitely should be winning it, and we'll do Ziggler. We lose, but we're good. Oh, I'm saying Biggie. Biggie would be a pro. I would definitely take a Biggie. <laughs> and is that? Yeah, we win that because we're compatible. Awesome. All right, here we go. We might just have to get into another game if we if they really troll me and we don't get it here, but. We, we might, we might just, we might just get it here. Are you ready? Oh, goodness. Here we go. Oh, my God, it's a pro. Come on. Yes. Yes. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, baby. Mate, yes. Yes. Give me that Alistair Black Pro, boys. Woo. Sorry for headphone users. I'm sorry, headphone users. <laughs> Oh, yes! Yes! Come on. Oh, boys. I will definitely take that. And we are as well going to start counting our resets now that we're in Titan tier. So I didn't get one there. But yes, guys. Alistair Black. He's a freaking pro. Woo. So not only is Eddie a pro in RTG, not only is Gobbledygooker a pro, not only did I pull a Neville today uh, in Monster Tin as well as a pro, now I've got yet another card to pro. Oh, my luck has been very, very decent, I'm not going to lie. Because I did get I did get Alistair in my Titan pack, um, the uh, yeah last video in the Titan pack, so... Thank you. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> so that this is who we start to pro. Eddie will be added into this list, and so will Gobbledygooker. Um, this really isn't my number one priority, as I already have a um, Piper Pro. So obviously now priorities will be Alistair Black, Eddie Guerrero, and Gobbledygooker event. And 
And yeah, oh boy, am I so happy because of that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with another part, guys, of this video. Probably the finale of the RTG. Thank you so much for watching. Drop it a like for that pro Alistair Black. And of course, if you're jealous, then you'll probably drop it a dislike. Thank you for watching so far, guys. I'll see you very soon. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the episode, episode number 11, I believe. Um, I'm completely lost, let's be real. I don't know what episode is what, but you guys saw in the first part of me get my Titan freebie, which I've had now on the screen, Alistair Black. And it was a pro, you guys know about that, and I'm pretty sure we finished off Eddie Guerrero in, that, in, the, in the first part as well. So a little update, I'm not too far on gobbledygooker. I thought, you know, I've still got two days and eight hours. I can kind of take my time now that I've gotten to a point where I'm literally just plus twoing. So, you know, might as well take a bit of my time, no point spending credits. It's not like it's going to get any harder or easier now that I'm just, um, have my super rare deck in there. Ultra rare. Um, so basically, we're going to end off this episode, guys, finally with the war rewards. They finally gave them to me. They've got seven hours left on calculating. Um, I hope after that, that is it, we can get into the next PvP mode. Because this is it's been calculating for a while now. So anyway... I'm going to get into our mail, we do have a load of things to open and then we're going to get into our question, our mailbox question of the episode and uh, it will come to you by user or named, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was, oh we, we might go through just all of these actually, I did get rid of a lot, some people just asking to be in the video, I did say there's no point, I'm just not going to put you in the video, because I get so many messages and I just spent too much time doing it and it would be very boring for everyone else to see, so I might just do these four here, that way we can get those done, um, but yeah, Normally I will try and only do one, but too many questions because you guys are too awesome. Let's get into our rewards real quick. We'll start off with um, our the, the, the worst thing, which are the bronze packs, a Roman Reigns, a Page, and a Triple H. Wow, that is so bad. Um, legendaries, an Epic, and Jesus, a Survivor, a WrestleMania, a Harden, whoa! That would get into D2's deck, Harden female right there. <laughs> Um, let's go ahead and claim our momentum, four momentum slots gained, why couldn't I claim them, I don't know, weird, claim these, there they are, 400 points, god, seems very dodgy these things, have they given me my momentum slots, that's all I care about really, and that's the one that looked like it kind of glitched out, no we're good, we got our momentum slots right, yeah, we got our momentum slots, very nice, Seth, Nakamura, um, Bray Wyatt, and I don't have another one, I think I'll leave it at that, but yeah, that's going to help King of the Ring, woo, <laughs> alright, we're good, we're good on that, now a uh, quick uh, update on background, looks like we're going to win yet another background, so uh, next episode we'll have some awesome little Titan rewards in it, um, of course now if I go on to my combinables, Alistair Black's there, Eddie Guerrero's there, Monster Neville's there, and uh, I made I made a big decision, oh yes, uh, yes, 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 Nia Jax is actually a pro catalogue, thank you very much, I'm really excited about that actually, um, that made those bronze packs really decent. Um, so yeah, I decided to use both of my um, Roddy Pipers, um, I decided just to screw it, I'm not going to go and get a second priority pipe, I know it would have made on my deck, and I know some of you might get very triggered about that, it's just I don't really care, um, I had no trading food, I needed it for my superstars in King of the Ring, I didn't want yet another one, I got five of them already, I don't even want to see the card anymore, so yeah, my deck's looking very good as it is, and I haven't even proed Eddie, I haven't even proed Alistair Black yet, still got to pro Neville, um, so much work, Team RTG's coming up, uh, then before we know it, it's back into the ring dom, and I just can't be bothered to get yet another pro done. So I decided to make that decision, and uh, I don't regret it whatsoever, but I'm sorry if that makes you guys very mad. Um, both of these still have one level to go, but hopefully now, thanks to everything we got in that, especially that Nia Jax, now that I've proed her, she can go get rid of some cards finally, you guys know that I take catalogue extremely seriously, I don't know why, it's just something that I've added kind of for me in the game to make it just a bit more challenging and um, yeah, it feels very rewarding to try and uh, get as many pros and as much as the catalogue done, so I'm not going to stop that anytime soon, so yeah, very actually very happy about that, you see like a, a little hardened Nia Jax, you see, if you don't do it, you're like, oh well that doesn't matter and you just, it's not important, but that makes me very happy because it's catalogue and it's yet another star, so 
I think it makes the game a bit funner. Um, obviously, right now with the new tier and a huge influx of cards, it is a bit tricky. I do have to kind of, but it's not always like this. It's kind of, it's literally just at the beginning of the season, and before you know it, I'm just, you know, it's mainly my summer slams or my summer slam singles I've got. I've got so many summer slam singles, but with with stuff here and there, I'm gonna start knocking those off, and uh, and I should get my card uh, back to about 120, maybe 130. Before the season four, it was actually um, around like the hundreds. It got below 100 sometimes, and that's what I really liked it like that. So hopefully we can get back to it. Anyway, let's go ahead and use all of that for the Nakamura. It does get one more level on him, so he's now complete. Very happy with that. Um, so I really hope we can win this King of the Ring. I will quickly show you guys how we are doing in it. It's a huge bot fest. There are so many bots in this King of the Ring. It is actually crazy. And I do want to quickly show for some people, if you guys don't know if they're bots or not, you can tell sometimes, there are some tells, um, if they've got a very like generic name and it's just a Titan image, that is a little tell. Obviously, it's not 100% sure. But then there's a huge tell, which you guys can see right here, that both guys in King of the Ring have the exact same cards. Two Shelton Benjamins, two Gold Dusts, and also in this King of the Ring there are literally Gold Dusts, Shelton Benjamins, Shawn Michaels, um, and then for the females it's a bunch of Liters um, and a couple Ember Moons and a couple Natalias. Literally, that's literally all there is. It is absolutely crazy. Um, I'm not going to go through all of them. I did it through stream, but there are a lot of bots here and a lot of like those decks that are very similar. We are going to be moving on to Raw. I have high hopes for this King of the Ring. Of course, these rewards are still very decent for me. Um, I'm not going to let it stop me sleeping, though. It is right now like 2 a.m., and I don't know how it's all going to play into me sleeping, this King of the Ring. Uh, but ideally, yeah, I'd love to I'd love to win it, get myself a uh, another monster card in hopes for, like, females or, at this point, just, you know, good monster pros. I'm not at a point where if it's a bad monster pro, I'm just going to be like, oh, screw it, I don't care. I did that with Ronnie Piper once. Monster pros obviously are still very helpful, um, as you can see by my art. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna auto fill that. But even in my RD deck, you can see that I still need some monster pros. But yeah, Ruddy Pipe was an exception. But yeah, hopefully we get some good monster pros. And yeah, that's pretty much the episode there, guys. I'm gonna stop rambling on. This episode is gonna be long. Um, drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new around here. And of course, tomorrow, guys, we're gonna be smashing out some Road to Glory and we'll be getting uh, the Platinum Pack. So thank you for watching, I'll see you very soon. What's going on guys? Welcome back to something I wasn't actually planning on doing, but I did once again completely forget to do the question, your mailbox question of the day or of the episode. So let's get right into it. Um, I don't want this video to be that long, so yeah. Who did I want to read out? Anthony, let's read yours. Hey, if you could pick any superstar to return to WWE in 2018, who would it be? Also, keep up the good work. I watch all your videos every day. So thank you so much, Anthony. Uh, 12 for your question, dude. Really appreciate the support. If I could pick any superstar to return in 2018, who would it be? Well, there's one very short and very easy answer to this, and that is CM Punk. Thank you so much, <laughs> and that was Captain, yeah. There's the, so there you go, Anthony. Coolness, I'll quickly read, read yours if you could um, get the chance to name your own tier um, and design what it would be. So I'm not going to go into designing it because I'm not really good with that and I don't really care about that. Well, I do care about the design, but I don't wouldn't want me to do it. But if I could name a tier, I'd name it the Cool Guy Me tier. I know that's... <laughs> yeah. Loser. Yeah, no, no, no. Cool Guy Me tier. Imagine, imagine it, guys. Imagine it. Please put in the video. It is in the video. Um... And I met, what would you call the tip? Well, there you go. Cool guy meet is what I'd name it. Captain, let's read yours. For your videos, the question segment in, the, in honor of your one year. Okay, your favorite Super Cup memory. Oh, dear, my favorite Super Cup. I mentioned this recently uh, when I was answering these questions, but it was claiming that ultra rare um, fusion when I got a Sheamus back in season one. That's a really fond memory I have of the game, but then most of season three is pretty fun because I've been doing videos and streams of it. So I'd say just most of season three, like some really high moments in the streams, but I can't remember some in particular. Um, but yeah, I'd just say the the funnest and the most entertaining videos, like the ultimate glitch um, from the RD. I remember those like six hours on Discord with everyone being so much fun. Everyone were going mental about it. So maybe one of those would be my favorite Supercar memories. Thank you, Captain, for your question. 
Uh, Jamie, I watched your question and answer video, but I have a question. What is your favorite pay-per-view moment in WWE history when CM Punk blew a kiss to John Cena and ran off with the title belt? I love that moment so much. That is my favorite moment with the pipe bomb, probably. Funny how they're both CM Punk moments. Um, yeah, you wonder why he's my favorite. But yeah, there we go. There are all your questions answered. Thank you so much to whoever asked those questions. All of you, thank you. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.